In this video, we'll talk about single row functions. We'll start with case conversion functions. So the purpose of those functions is to alternate the case of the data uh, in store, that's stored in a certain column or a string. We will use it in the select clause to alter the appearance of the data of the results. And uh, sometimes we will also use it in the where clause to alter the case of the value for comparison if we have a case sensitive setup. The ones we will use are lower and upper to convert from lower case to upper case or from upper case to lower case. So let's go and do some example and check on how these work. So let me just try to select first name from customers as we can see everything is in uppercase so I can just go here and say select lower and then I surround the column I want and it's going to display it in lowercase if everything was in lowercase, I can go back and select everything in uppercase as well. Now we also have a substring. So for the substring, we will provide the um, starting index and we will provide the number of characters that we want. So let's do an example on substring. So substring is sub str. This is going to give me a substring of my column. So I just need this column right here. And I don't need this. So, so I, I need two more things. I need the column that's going to contain the string. And I need an integer to start. So let me start from 2 and these are going to be separated by comma then the number of characters I need is 2 as well so if I run this now I have on here and I have ya because if I start from 0 this is going to give me nothing but if I start from 1 it's going to start from the first character so as you can see it's starting from 1 not like Java or C or other programming languages where the strings start from zero. It is going to start from one. If you say zero, it's going to give you nothing, as we see right here. So, the syntax of this is the string that you want to do a substring, followed by the starting index, followed by the number of characters that you want. So, if you request a number that is more than what you have. So let's say 100. So I, I'm asking for the first 100 characters. It is just going to give me the characters that are there and if they are less than what you requested, it's going to give you the whole string basically. Next is um, what we call LPAD and RPAD which is going to help you pad the string with some other characters. So let's see what I mean by this. So let me select the customer ID. So I have those customers IDs like this. Uh, notice it's one, two, three, four, numbers so what I can do is if I want to add more zeros to that number so let me just do this select L pad so L pad is padding from the left side and I will L pad my customer ID column with so this is the number of characters that I want so let me say um, 10 and then let me say something like uh, I want a 0 so if we run this and we see 
So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 characters. So I just said I want to help add it with 10, and then I said 0. So how help add is going to work, it's going to make the whole thing span over 10 characters, and it will fill the remaining ones with 0. So if I have 4 characters, I will add 6 zeros. If I have 5 characters, I will add 5 zeros, and so on. So if I do... Four. I'm not doing anything because it's already four. What if I do three? It's going to chop one of your characters. So you gotta be careful with whatever you help at. Now, why is that useful? So sometimes you see something that is requiring a specific number of characters. And if we look at our T numbers, um, for example, student numbers, uh, we'll start with the T, for example, and then a dash. So you can concatenate it with something like concat, and then I will concat LPAD with, let's say, for this example, it's a customer, so I'll say C with that number so if I run this now I have C zero 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 and then so on can have a dash if I want to I'm just going to say C dash zero 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 so this is very helpful in display and sometimes it's very helpful as well in creating a table from existing data and if you want to copy whatever you have in there uh, another example of functions that will work with strings is the replace function so the replace function is going to work like this so I will use the replace uh, function and then provide it with a string and then whatever string I need to be replacing and then whatever I need to replace that string with so it's string, string, substring to be replaced, and then replacement string. So let me do an example. So uh, first, I will select the address of all of my customers. Okay. So select address from customers. Now I have all of those addresses, so I want the addresses that have the word uh, PO box. So I can say where address is like, because remember I want um, to have some kind of pattern matching. So it is going to be like P.O and then I'll have box, and then I don't care what comes after that. Um, P -O oh, I have a dot missing here. That's why I didn't get anything. Now we're now we got it. So this is all of the PL boxes. Now, if I want to send only these numbers I don't want the word PO box here I want to get only these numbers for some reason I might be sending them to an application I want to be I might be interested in just the numbers I don't care about like the word PO box I will use the replace function okay so I will keep the address right here and I will have another column that's going that's going to show me the replace function so it's just for visual purposes to see both of them right next to each other so I will say select the address and then the other column is going to be replace and remember we said you will provide the column first that contains the string so it is going to be address and then I need to tell uh, what substring I want to take out I want to take this part out. So I will go ahead and paste this in here. So I'm saying, okay, this part is to be taken out. What should I replace it with? 
I want to replace it with nothing. I want just to take it out. So I'll just do this. Okay. And then I'll say from customers where this is what we're looking for. So right now, see, I got rid of all of those strings. And replacing with an empty string is not the only thing that you can do. It, like, for example, you can just do mail. Now this is going to say mail right here. So you can replace with anything that you would like to replace. Now let me talk a little bit about some number functions. So these functions will allow you to do some kind of numeric data manipulation. We have round, we have truncate, we have mod, we have absolute value. So let's go and see how these work. Now for each one of those you can use it with a column. So um, let me just say select retail from books. So you can use them with columns but you can also use them with direct numbers. Let me show you what I mean. So if I say select round retail from books and let me have the retail right next to it to show you how the rounding is going to happen. So if I just say round, it's going to round it right away to the next integer. But let's see. So if it's if it is uh, if the decimal point is uh, point 0.5 more than point 0.5, it's going to round it up. If it's less than point 0.5, uh, it's going to round it down. But then I can round only to like the first decimal number. So let me show you what I mean. Maybe with this example, it's not going to be the best, but let's comment this. And I will show you how you can round with direct numbers because the, the, num the numbers I have here are not going to be the best. Maybe this will work. And I'll show you both. So select round retail. Now I said round this, but then I can say, okay, I just want to round the decimal places. So if I say round it, Round it to one decimal place. This is now 0.8. It was 0.75. The reason I said it might not work well because all of them are pretty close to rounding. But what you, what you can do is this. So you select round and then I will say 1.55645 or any number like this. And let me round this to four decimal places. And this is what I get. If I say five decimal places, this is what I get. Now, you can round direct numbers, as we said. And you can round uh, columns. So it has to do with whatever the type of the data that's going to be supplied right here. If it's a number and it's a number function, this, this is going to work. It doesn't matter if you're supplying it from a column or directly writing the number right there. Now, we have another function that is truncate. So, truncate is going to take out some of those decimal places. So, if I say truncate, now let me see what's going to happen. So if I say truncate 5, it, this is what's going to happen. So this is not going to show better than the previous example. So let's go to the previous example, and this is going to show better. Now remember when I rounded, this went up to 30. This went up to 28.8. But if I say truncate, now see what happens. It didn't round anything. It just chopped off the rest of the decimal places. So if you say truncate 1, I just need one decimal place to be displayed and then I don't care about the rest. Now another function that we want to explore is modulus and it's going to give you the division remainder. So if I divide 7 by 2, I will get 2 and then I'll get a remainder of 1. 
I mean, sorry, I'll get three and then a remainder of one. So let me just do this select seven. Well, I need to say mod first. So seven and two. It's going to say one. So one is the remainder of that um, division. Now, the last thing I want to cover in terms of number of functions is the absolute value. So maybe s, and let me say minus 1. This is going to say 1. If I say 1, it is also going to say 1 because this is just the absolute value function.